Well, here we are. Good morning. Another fairy garden put together by Grandma Sandy. Believe it or not, this miniature garden was put together for me by things I already had. Even all the plants in here are not new. There was no expense for this. As you can hear, the birds are all excited that we're out here today. I do have a lot of painting projects I'm going to have to do next year because these items have been out in the yard so long they're getting very faded. But because it's hard to go out shopping, even to buy paint, I probably am not going to do any painting for the next couple of months. We may do some touching up in the summer and I will show you how much better these pieces can look. But considering that this has probably been out in the yard for two or three years, it's looking pretty good and it's had a lot of sun. This is a metal and wood building. I thought it really is cute. Hope you agree. Now the fencing is new to the sense that it's the first time it's been in a garden. I did buy it back in September when Big Lots had a big clearance sale, but I didn't put them out because I wanted something to be new in the garden and look fresh. So that's why these pieces do look really good. And the fencing really had a lot of detail on it. It does look like wood, but it's a plastic. And these look like real nail holes, but they're not. But I thought they turned out so cute. I really love this fencing, and I did buy quite a bit because it was so cheap I couldn't believe it. And I think size-wise it goes pretty good with this fairy garden. I hope you agree. This here, poor baby, I need to touch her up. I didn't realize how bad she's starting to look she needs to have a little touch-up paint job won't be able to do it probably until fall or maybe the first thing of next year but she's one of my favorite fairies so of course you know i'm going to be touching her up some of her paint is coming off her leg i'm so sorry to say and off her hair surprisingly our little um squirrel over here still looks reasonably good but I'm sure by the time I paint this piece I'll have to do the whole piece and the little log she's sitting on is looking pretty good too and this is just a piece of uh, stone that I brought home from uh, that someone was gonna throw away so I have a few of these pieces around my garden too but you know, Grandma, if she sees something someone's going to throw away and she can use it, she does get it. I usually just ask. The mushrooms my daughter had bought me a few years back. So, I couldn't believe all the beautiful things that I found to put in this fairy garden. This fairy garden was totally free easy to put together now what I did with this one because I wanted to have more depth usually a lot of my fairy gardens are pretty level this one I had built it up for I would have a hill so it's the bottom of the hill she's sitting there with her friend and they're visiting and having fun now to go up to her little place, you have to go up a little hill to give a little bit of height to this. And that's what I did.
Now you can do your miniature gardens any way you want, but I like to have a little bit of variety so my stuff does look a lot different all the time. But I just wanted to share this beautiful miniature garden I did for free. Like I said, you can do it. Now all these pieces were from the miniature gardens uh, sections of storage that I bought everything in. And I probably, except for the fencing, probably paid quite a bit for most of the, like the little fairy. I think I bought that one over in um, uh, Ukaipa. There's a really nice nursery over there, Sunshine Growers. And um, I have bought a lot of my fairy supplies over there, and that's where that came from. The mushrooms were for my daughter, like I said, and I'm not quite sure where I bought, you know, where she got them at. I may be wrong, I think the fairy house probably came from Michael's or Joanne's, but it was from a couple years back. So um, I really can't remember which store I bought it at. But I probably paid a pretty penny because that's all metal and wood and so it's really made well. Uh, the, the metal is holding up excellent. The only thing that's starting to look a little bad is the actual wood part because this is staying outside. I'm going to repaint it, uh, probably the wood is going to probably start rotting away in the next year or two, because it's already, I can see it's starting to show wear, but the middle house still looks great, except I need to paint it. Well, I just thought I would show you my new fairy garden for free. I love doing free fairy gardens. You are gonna see mostly free. I am gonna to have to pay some money to buy some plants to do 30 fairy gardens. But most of my fairy gardens are gonna be free ones. So, what do you think? Leave me a comment. Bye bye for now, all my awesome, awesome friends and followers. And of course, my lovely family that's been coming and checking out my fairy gardens lately don't forget my channel is designed for adults interested in gardening home decor cooking cleaning DIYs and shopping hauls please come back again soon now for all of you that have made it to the very end kisses and hugs love you all so much for making it to the very end you don't know how much all your love and support has made me so happy. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.